Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at Coachman's entry-level Class A motorhome that gives you an outside kitchen and is less than 30 feet long. This is the 2020 Coachman Pursuit Model 29SS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, the world's only channel that gives you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited. We're taking a look at the Coachman Pursuit. Now, I would like to say, we're taking a look at the redesigned Coachman Pursuit. Andrea, you yes. remember back when we were in Maryland and they were brown, yes. 2018? Was not a fan. <laughs> now they're gray and they look okay. You know what I'm saying? Andrea, the inside looks fantastic. I'm super excited to show you. But before we begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hi everyone. How are you? I'm good. You super excited? I am excited. We're staying safe, huh? We are staying safe and I hope you guys are doing the same. Hey Andrea, you're wearing the same outfit as last video. Why is that? Because we are trying to knock out as many videos as we can, guys. Absolutely. We don't know when they're shutting us down. We might be shut down by the time we're playing this video, but we're going to grind them out just for y'all. Let's begin. Model is 29SS, but the actual tip to tip length is 30 feet 4 inches. Look at the new design. Listen, this is not the Coachman Encore or even the new Marauders, but it still looks good, especially for the price point of this motorhome. Coming down the side here, you do have your uh, mirrors right here, but your cameras are built into the side. This is the Ford V10 engine. Tire size, these are the Goodyear's 245-R70 19.5s. Small tires, entry level motorhome. What I love, check out this big power awning with LED lights. And I'll try it. look, it even has speakers in it. Oh, wow. I do like the length of the awning. Ah, check Good that out, Andrea. Coachman. Good job, that's so funny. What a great awning. Now listen, people, when you guys say, Matt, why don't you like the white awnings? This is the awnings that we like. We prefer some texture, right? Yes. Right here, it is prep for solar if you want to have a little panel to charge your batteries. Because it's Coachman, they use an Asdale composite, which is a green material. So long story short, your motorhome will never delaminate. Coming down the here side, twist do door knobs, you know, you know how I feel about that. Right here, you have a little bit of power. Here's a little bit more storage. Right? That's good. That's a good, all right, I'm out. Yeah. And then right sure. here, you have a TV on the outside. Okay, oh, good. Okay. I like that. Very nice. Also, check this out, right? Look at how they're putting like the trim. Notice how the trim is black. It kind of makes it look like they tried for that look, like the gray tone motorhome with like real thick trim. I actually think it looks good. It does. Check this out. Wow. Nice outdoor kitchen. I love that. What do we so, got sorry about the generator noise, folks, but Andrea needs it cool on the inside. <laughs> little fridge, built-in sink. Let's just touch on the sink. Look at, they even actually have a little tiny bit of backsplash. Look yeah, at that. that's fancy. Right, check all that out. And then you do have a drawer. You got your drain pump yep, and... Yep, an LP quick connect right there. Very nice. And look, I like how at least that's a slam latch door. Yes. You know, we don't like these twisties. And what's this? Oh man, look at that storage. More storage. That's, that's a good amount of storage. Very nice. Coming around the back. You do have a bumper for your stinky slinky. 5,000 pound hits, this motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Right there, your fuel Phillips in the rear. And you do have a backup camera. Also, you have a one piece cross flex roof from Coachman. Let's go up there and take a look. And also guys, Matt will have all the tanks, 
with sizes, heights, and everything in the description below. Down in the description below. Let's go up on the roof and take a look. Oh man. There we go Please now. be careful. All right, up here on the roof, look at this. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I absolutely love that. That's very hard to find in a 30 foot class A motorhome that's entry level. Big props to that. Right there's your Wi Fi Ranger, and then right there's your digital antenna. Pretty simple roof, but I love the fact that there's two air conditioning units. Yep, Matt, please hold on. Here we go now. Not really liking the look of the ladder. How's it feel? Sturdy? Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. We're the RV salesman to take his fat ass up on the roof, show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's what? That? That's the official Matt's RV review sticker that you can now get on our website. So if you want a sticker to swag out your motorhome, <laughs> go to mattsrvreviews.com and pick one up. Nice. In Andrea. Yes. We're now selling them direct. We're not using third party. Finally. So uh, we even write you a little thank you message on every purchase. Thanks guys for your support. Right there. You got your 50 amp power cord right there. Oh, there's a generator. There's generator, sorry about the noise. Here's the other side of your storage over here. This is your city water connection. Look at that outdoor okay. shower. It's all right. Yeah, it's better than I thought it would be. Yep. Water heater right here. Six gallon DSI water heater. And then look at this. Wow. Wow, there's your propane tank. 25 pound propane tank. And as Andrea said, all specs about this motorhome is down in the description below. Well, the outside of this motorhome looks great. I love the new redesigned Pursuit, but the inside looks even better. It's actually really nice. Let's go take a look. Skipping, skipping. Okay, here we go. Oh, it feels nice in here. Oh, thank you for turning on the air conditioning. No problem. Okay, so look, I'm walking through with the slide in and I still have plenty of space. Here's the bathroom. And then you got the master bedroom back here. Scoot all the way up there, Andrea, please. Very interesting. Dang, Navit. Nice. And while I'm doing this, if you could, please leave down in the comments below let us know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about this motorhome. The more people who smash that thumbs up button and leave a comment, the more people YouTube likes to promote our video to. And Andrea, yes. do you know how many subscribers we hit yesterday? Yes. No, you don't. Because this video is in the future, so we don't know. Okay. <laughs> so you ready? We hit this many subscribers. Bing, bing. Thanks so much, Thanks, everyone. Because <laughs> we got to do our shooting ahead. Great. Up here in the cockpit area, Andrea, can you see me okay? Yes. If you guys are noticing, we're, we're closing all the blinds because of our new camera equipment, uh, so it doesn't pick up the light on the outside. Here's the cockpit area, the new command center. You got your auto leveling right here. Look at this. This looks great. Newly redesigned. I'm actually impressed with that. You know, it actually looks better than the Marauders, which is very nice. Nice, comfortable seats. Um, manual seats, but it's okay. Again, price point, motorhome. And Andrea, sit in that seat over there. Yeah, it actually Very is. Very nice. Yeah, it actually is comfortable. Um, look! Very nice. Nice. You got USB up here and everything. Uh-huh. Um, I guess that's our cup holder. Yep. And, 
Yeah, I mean. Well, no, you got a cup holder right there. Where? Where? That square. Oh. Okay. That flips down. I don't even see it. Yep, that's a cup holder. Okay. And I love that computer tray. Yes. You Great. know, this is nice. I'm impressed. All right. Now let's check out that bunk over the cab. Up here. Let's see how this works. Oh, is one of these? So it's not electrical. It's a manual one. And it's for one person. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. Nice bunk over the cab. This probably only holds 250 pounds. Um, with that said, the odds of it breaking are slim to none. You know, less mechanical right. things in a motorhome to some people can be a good thing. Very nice. Let's check out, okay, just make a 360. Look at the floor in a cabinetry. I think the interior designers did a phenomenal job. Look at the floor. Yes. Floor. I am. Oh yeah. Very nice. You have to go slow. Yeah. Great. All right, over here in the living room area. You got nice storage above. I like kind of like this glass here. Exposed hinge cabinetry, but I'm fine with that. It's what this price point of a motorhome is. And right here you do have a sofa with three seat belts. There's a little uh, piece of wood here for you to put stuff. And we have a jackknife sofa. A stiff jackknife sofa. So if a jackknife's like this, something's wrong. It's either me or the sofa. <laughs> Very tough. But it is across from the TV, which is right here. Which, you know, you can angle it out to try to get a better viewing area or something like that. Here's your dinette. You got a big cabinetry up here and big cabinetry up here. Oh, snap, Andrea, speaking of the cabinetry. Cargo carrying capacity. 2,508 pounds. That's crazy. You know, it's interesting that the dinette is gray. Maybe they are they trying to get that different kind of feeling, maybe. Yeah, kind of like separation, like yeah. a mental separation. I love this. There's a nice big window right here. This drops down to make a bed. You have storage underneath. And then storage underneath there. Oh, Andre, you know what they're doing? What? So look at this. See how it's gray here? Mm -hmm. You see this color? Yes. Now look at the sofa. Mm -hmm. It's reversed. It's oh, that yeah. color with okay. the gray trim. So yeah. Also, check out this <laughs> interesting light switch above the door when oh you come God. in. Oh my God, Andrea, is that light? Art Deco? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not Good. Art Deco. Two AC units fully ducted throughout the whole motorhome. And yeah, this is, again, small motorhome, great living room setup. Also, because those seats swivel around, they are directly facing the TV. So that's a really good spot. But, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome is... $135,000. $969 MSRP. We have it 34% wow. off MSRP. We want to get these things moving and grooving to $89,995. That's a great price. That's a phenomenal price for this motorhome. But, and I again, I really like the redesign look. It kind of feels country, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It feels American. America. 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 But, you can get a better price than 89.9. Tell people how they do that, Andrea. You can call, you can text, you can email, or you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Call me, text me, schedule an appointment, visit me in Ocala, Florida. Or if you're interested in this motorhome throughout the country, we deliver. Andrea, last week I sold somebody in Colorado and wow. Minnesota. Minnesota That's helps you know. amazing. Andre, why don't you show everybody the kitchen? All right. Okay, so here we have the kitchen. 
love that they have a window here with the little shades, uh -huh. little lines. Cabinets up here. I do like the look of the cabinets with the handles. Very yep. nice. Check out the double sink. Fan of this, you guys. Important yep. for me when I'm dishwashing. I do kind of think the backsplash looks interesting. Yep. Very. Notice, okay, check it out. A lot of times we'll mention solid surface countertops. Yes, but this, this is not. This is, you know, entry level. It's called a thermal foil countertop. Also, notice how this sink is raised up right here, okay? It's little things like that that make this motorhome a lot more aggressive oh, price definitely. point. definitely. It definitely looks a lot better than the past years. We got a cabinet here. We yep. got two drawers here. Wait, wait, wait. Close the drawer? Yes. Soft no, no, closed. no. Open the drawer and then close it. Soft close. Oh, soft close drawers. I, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Me neither. I didn't know it I had it on this. That. You got a little microwave up here. Yep. Okay, you got a three burner cooktop. I love that. With the glass top yes. cover. And you guys, there's an oven, Magic Chef. Very nice. Very cute. Check now, out that fridge. Here is the refrigerator. It looks like a residential, is it? No, it's a compressor fridge. Okay. It's kind of like a combination. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's bigger than the old fridges, but smaller than yes, the residential. It's a good size. Very good size. Very good size. Very nice. And then. Oh gosh, more cabinetry. Yep. Here you have your panel. Look at this. Cute little coat closet or yep. whatever you'd use it for. Very nice. And um, yeah, in a door to the bedroom. Pocket door. Very now, nice. Do you want to do the bedroom? No, we'll do the bathroom first. All right. All right, let's check out this bathroom. Door to the bathroom. How was it when the slide out was closed? Could you get in good? I could get to the bathroom, yes. Perfect. Look at the shower. Great shower. Love the shower. Ooh. You know, hold on, hold on. All right, now see in other motorhomes, they'll have like these corn, they'll make it like an octagon shower. It's a good size. I love the shower, it's a good size. Close that, let me just see that shower. Okay, oh, hey. okay. <laughs> All right, nice. You got your sink here and your mirror. That's Hi. a big mirror. Good. Yep. Okay, so they got the side sink there. Yep, or the side faucet. Yep, side faucet. Did you get this or no? Yes, there you go. got. Toilet paper holder, shelves, and yep. another cabinet above here. Very nice. Time for the toilet test. All right, now I have to get in the shower. No, no look. Uh oh, we're on a pedestal there or something. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna be good. Tell me, is it porcelain? It oh. is a porcelain toilet. Didn't expect that. But it is all. It is a hair too high. Like, look at my feet, you know, like, like they can, you know, it's like, it's not the highest I've been at. It's almost too high because of whatever's under there, which is a shame. Oh, it's doable for the pooable. It's doable for the pooable, but it's not the four piece. <laughs> so we'll leave it at that. Um, but it passes. It's not going to make my dislike list. Uh, I love the shower. I love everything else about this bathroom. I love the leg space. It's just a quarter inch too high. Okay. Let's check out the bedroom. Not everybody is short like us. Yeah, no, if you're tall, you have no problem. Cool. Over here in the bedroom, you have a queen size bed. Oh, nice. Look at that Coachman wow. seat pap station. They call it the coach pap station. You got your little Vanna White lights on each side. Guys, interesting that they did that for the headboard back there. It actually looks nice. I like that Some headboard. Some of the stuff just, you know, is plain, but that looks nice. Well, here's what I'll say. Whoever the production manager is or interior designer, or I don't know what their job title is called, for this product make it made it look really good. Wow. There is a lot of cabinets in here. Yep. Look at that. You got one there. You can hang stuff. You got a little nightstand with a drawer. Very nice. Soft clothes. Got a nice window there. Check out that beautiful picture. Oh my God. Andrea, is that picture Art Deco? No. Oh. <laughs> Man, double Art Deco in one video. What's going on? All right. And there's the other cabinet. All right. And then look at this. You got a nice, actually, you might have to get that. All right. You show the rest. All right. So you have a nice wardrobe here. Check that out. That's very nice. great. I'm, I'm very impressed. And it's a storage. little tight right there. Oh, I is. will say that. And you got a big drawer down here. Yep. Also, you have your TV with Perfect. storage. Very nice. Oh my goodness. Check another cabinet. 
Yep. I'm, I'm telling you, this is crazy. Another drawer down here, guys. And then your other wardrobe here. Very nice with another drawer. Nice big drawers in here, by the way. Awesome. Very, very nice. Check this out. I, I think a lot of manufacturers are starting to do more of this look. It's more yep. like the chair rail look. Yep. Kind of gives you more options to decorate the way you want. But yeah, I think it's very cute in here. Very nice. Very beautiful motorhome. And I love the new interior changes in the Pursuit. It's great. But as great as it is, it's now time that we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Perfect. First, so my first dislike's in the bedroom. And then Andrea just pointed out something. Uh, we did forget to show you there is storage underneath, but that is not my dislike. My dislike for the bedroom, personally, I feel like this space is really tight. I feel like I wish the slide out was a little bit deeper and bigger to give me more walk space. I mean, like, honestly, in here, I don't feel like I could change my clothes comfortably, personally. That's one. Andre, do you have a dislike? Um, yes. Tell me. I feel like, I, I honestly don't like these colors. I know it's a little bit picky. I don't Whoa. like, stop, stop, stop. I don't like the separation of the gray and the beige. I like the colors. See, I personally feel like, I don't know, it should have been the same color, but that's just me. Andrea going <laughs> hard at the colors. Sorry, that's how I feel. I personally, personally, Andrea, I'm not interior designer crap. I feel like the colors complemented each other very well with like the floor. Oh my God. We we must agree to disagree. I feel like it should have all been that tan color. You know what? We're doing it again. We're taking a poll. Leave down in the comments below. Who's right? I think I'm right. I love the colors. Andrea does not. Let us know down in the comments below. Man, that's crazy. I think it looks great. Third thing I dislike about this motorhome is I'm not a fan of these twist lock doors. I've come to the realization that I'm fine with the fiberglass doors, but when they twisty, I am not a fan of that. I, you know, they put this, I give them props to putting the slam latch on the kitchen, but they should have just put the slam latch all the way through personally. I agree. Well, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Andrea. Do you want to go first or me? Yes, I'm going first because I'm right here. Okay. I actually like the colors on this new Coachman. So you love the outside colors? I love the, the outside color. colors. Look, yep. guys, I love the Coachman brand. Yep, I love and I love how they put the down. It's so, so silly. I do love how they put the Dalmatian in all of them. Yep. And look at the colors. I just like the way it looks. They look so much better than the old ones. So modern. I love the black trim as well. And I love the color of the awning. Yes, they did a great job on the awning. Cool. So that's one. Two, we're coming in here. We're back inside. I'm gonna say, hmm. You like that area right there, the cockpit area. That I was... do, I do like the cockpit area. And, and it's, again, the reason why I'm pointing that out is because they did redesign it for this it year. It looks really sleek. It looks great, it looks sleek, it looks modern. You know what this might be? This might be a man's motorhome. <laughs> I'm telling you. Because if you don't like the color, I like to see how many women like the color. Or if it's just like a like a cowboy up, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I love the color and I think it looks great. Um, but I yeah. I like the uh, headboard in the bedroom. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. So that's two. Can I show it one more time? Yeah, show that headboard. I like that. It just, you know, it just gives it something else, I guess. Character. Character, Character, yeah, definitely. Okay. And then three, the third thing I like about this motorhome is... The outside kitchen! Oh yeah, duh. <laughs> Good job, Andre. Especially on an entry level motorhome. I do love the outside kitchen. I think it's a great, fantastic feature. I think so many times you don't get outside kitchens and motorhomes, and whenever somebody can fit one in, I really like it. Also, you know what else I'll say? As small as that back bedroom was, I like how you didn't have to climb up on the bed. 
if you notice the 29S and like all, all the other ones that has like the 29M and all that, you have to like climb up on the bed and it's real tall. This bed, it wasn't as tall. This kitchen's not as tall, but it's still just a great, nice feature. Well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this Coachman Pursuit or questions about any other RVs, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or my personal cell is 301-906-0962. Don't forget, if you haven't already gotten your official Matt's RV Review sticker, you can now buy them on my website, mattsrvreviews.com. And Andre, do you have anything you want to say? Sure. Hey guys, let us know the three things that you like about this RV and your three dislikes. We're always interested to see what you have to say. And I know Coachman does read the comments. Um, I hope everybody's taking care and being safe. And you guys, try not to go crazy because uh, we're, we're trying our best too not to go crazy. Yep, but and take listen. take care. And listen, a lot of other people are going crazy. That's why it's really important for you to leave the three likes and dislikes about this motorhome down in the comments. That triggers the YouTube algorithm, which makes it so more people can watch our videos so less people can go crazy. Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.